Okay, so this is the 2000 Dodge Intrepid, and we have the gauges connected to the high and low side ports, and we have the temperature testing tool connected to the condenser inlet and outlet. So we're going to watch the pressures, watch the temperatures, and see what happens. Uh, so just to let you know, we've also removed all the refrigerant from this vehicle and we've charged it with 50% of the charge. So normally this car takes 1.56 pounds, which is the same as 1 pound 9 ounces. And we've gone ahead and charged it with half that amount to 0.78 pounds, so just over three quarters of a pound. And we're going to see what kind of an effect a 50% undercharge has on condenser inlet and outlet temperature, as well as operating pressures. And at the same time, we're also going to listen for the compressor clutch to cycle on and off. And also for the condenser cooling fan to turn on and off. You can see the high, high pressure gauge rising, which is due to the condenser cooling fan being turned off right now. Now the condenser cooling fan is turned back on bringing the high pressure down, also bringing the low pressure gauge down. But I don't believe that the clutch is cycling anymore. Sounds like the clutch, the compressor clutch is just staying engaged all the time. Sure is what it looks like. That compressor is turning. It's definitely not cycling. So it looks like we're running about 16 psi on the low side while that clutch is engaged. And that clutch is still engaged too. Now let's see what PSI turns them compressor fans on, or condenser fans on. It looks like it's about, well, I'd say about 210. About 210 is when the condenser fan turns back on. And that low side, that's floating around Oh, about 16, 17 psi, and the high gauge that looks about uh, just before 125, so probably about 115, 118, something like that. That compressor is still running. You can tell because the high side is still climbing. That compressor is building up pressure.
<laughs> very interesting. I actually thought that the unit has a low charge, half the amount that it should, that compressor clutch would be cycling on and off a lot. But it's hard to tell in this cell phone video, but man, that clutch is just pumping away. So just to clarify, on the temperature gauge there, the red probe showing about 147 degrees, that's connected to the condenser inlet tube. The blue probe showing about 102 right now, 101, that's connected to the condenser outlet. And then the bottom line there is calculating the difference between the red and the blue probe. So. Like it's timed out. Turn that back on. Okay, so the fans kick in. Brings that high side right back down. All right, so let's go check inside the vehicle real quick. Okay. Man, that is just blown out cold as can be. Wish I had a thermometer in here. Okay, so I'm back to finish this video. I said I wish I had a thermometer in the vent. Now I do. And it looks like it must work its way down to about 32 degrees. Now it's at about 30 degrees. So, even with a half charge, still blowing out ice cold. Interesting.